Yeah, that's it. This is Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com. We're at the... Uh, Oh, which cruise is this? I'm getting lost already. Cumberland Valley. I know. They're a great club. They always draw a lot of good people. Love Cumberland Valley. Really cool. This is a new location, which they have over in Carlisle at the Red Robin. We're speaking with Rich with his rat. Rat is Rich. I like that. So we got, we got to check this puppy out. All right, you were saying that you got a 454 from a uh, motorhome? 454 with a... Uh uh, 400 turbo transmission mm -hmm. straight out of the motorhome. Cool, cool. Straight in. Oh, sweet. What What is used for a chassis? Uh, that's a all custom built chassis. Nice. I, I built that. Well, everything you see on it, if it's been welded or fabricated, I did it. Oh, that is amazing. What did you get the shell from? That's a 28 Buick. Okay. And it was just something I come across someone had, and we worked out a trade. And that's how I get things. But well, that's perfect. I love it. I like your twin masters. I like your little still over here for your overflow. It's all had, and then the copper roof. It's thirty thousand thick. The grill's copper. The rat's copper. Guys, zoom in and see all this stuff. Harley Davidson turn signal nice. on the mirrors on the motorcycle. Mirror. On the motorcycle, yeah. I like that grill. That is uh, cool. The, the headlights turn with the. Oh, nice! Nice! I like your beam axle. That's great. I love the gears underneath. That's a 37 Ford front axle. Uh huh. This brake kit on it. And then um, uh, the uh, Mustang 2 uh, rack no, and pinion. That is a Plymouth Cricket. Oh, really? Rack and pinion steering that I fabricated into the straight axle. I'll be damned, a sunbeam part. I love it, I love it. All right, now you're half British. Does it leak? Leak where? Oil? No, not too No, the, the, the Iraq. No, the Iraq. It's British. No, the, the, it's a Plymouth Cricket. Yeah, that's a uh, British car. Oh, really? Yeah, I it's a sunbeam. It no, yep. a sunbeam is different. Nope. That was made by Sunbeam. Really? Oh, okay, yeah. And you know something I don't. Because that's a Sunbeam Hunter over in Europe. Okay. So, but was. Yes, sir. I got me an education. <laughs> right. Yeah, I get into trouble with my. Uh, no, that's great. It's insane. You know. Oh, that's right. I was arguing with someone with about Studebaker. He's sitting around telling me that Avantis were steel originally. No, they weren't. Uh, they were never steel. No, of we course not. We got an Avanti over here. Set nice. Gotta check it out. I, I love my Avantis. Yeah. And that they were made in Canada. No, they were not. South Bend, Indiana. Thank you very much. Yeah, so, okay. always yeah, were. I Ford show had a couple uh, Cobras out there. And I said, and these always been fiberglass. He said, the originals were aluminum. Aluminum. Yes. I never knew that. Oh, yeah. I yeah. thought they were always fiberglass. No. They, oh no, they never, uh, Shelby never built one, but remember that was fabricated that was over in car. Europe. Yeah, that went to the fiberglass for the kit cars. Yeah, that was all the kit cars. Yeah. Now Shelby, Americans started making aluminum uh, cars, uh, reproductions of, or continuations of the Cobra. Yeah. So it's pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's get back to this rat, come okay. on. I love your hubcaps. They're uh, 32 Lincoln wheels. Uh-huh. And the hubcaps are either Rat Rod or Rich Rod Ball, however you want I like Rich Rod Ball or Rat Rich. That's even better. Ratty Rich. Yeah. yeah. Too cool. And then... Uh, I love your wiring harness in the uh, copper tubing. Yeah, That's I, a great touch. I like to try to keep everything enclosed. Right. And so that's why even the drip rail, that's a piece of aluminum or a piece Our of copper. copper. I, I welded this nice. with a TIG welder. Uh-huh. With uh, it's a... A copper alloy welding rod, and the roof's only thirty thousand thick. Wow! I like the way how you ribbed the roof. I, I had That's a friend perfect. of mine bend it like standing seam roof. That's great. And then the, the inside, you got Beautiful. sixty-nine Camaro seats. You got a boat steering wheel. That is wonderful. I like the copper theme going through. That's some job you've got there. And, uh, the cup holders over there. Oh, perfect. Look at that. You gotta have cup holders. Well, yeah, of course. What a job. Jeez. You know, it's funny is that you're going. I guess in your early years, you were still making. If I needed to be. 
That is great. You got rid of all the wood on the framing, I see, but I yeah. like your instrumentation. <laughs> yeah, that's a big piece of copper, and I took some old gears and uh -huh. I took it and hollowed them out to get the, the gauges inside of them. That's brilliant. Just brilliant. This is nice. Oh, you still do have some of the wood yeah, in the frame, the, okay. The door. Yep. A little bit of a hatchet job there. <laughs> well, well, that was all. Some of this was all tore up when I got oh, it. Oh yeah. Just, oh, the wood doesn't last. They never expected these cars to last over ten years. And this in here, well, like I said, this is a, a twenty-eight Buick. Yeah. Oh, this is great. This is great. Now, where are you running for a rear end? I'm running a Chevy mm -hmm. van rear end. Uh huh. Because it's wider than what my front end is. That way, the wheels just look a little different going down the road. You can see the rear wheel, but not the front wheel. Nice, nice. And I then, like this. Then it's got a a coil over suspension off of race cars. Oh, look at that. That's brilliant. That is so great. I was going to put airbags on it, which that's what these brackets are. Right. But I just went to the coil over and said the heck with the airbags. I couldn't lower it enough yeah. to make it look right. Yeah. Now, this works very, very well. Hmm. This is sweet. Absolutely sweet. Did you build the tank yourself, too? Yes. I, wow. I'm a welder by trade. I can see that. I mean, geez, this thing's great. I love your uh, lamps. These are model, model T uh, lamps on right. the old Model T cars. Yep. And, and that I electrified them yep. to make them for, for my tail lights. Yes. And that's then, brilliant. Those were originally kerosene. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. Because I took the wicks out of them. Uh -huh. I actually drilled a hole in the bottom. That way, if the water gets it, it drains out. Oh, the that's bottom. a good idea. I like that. And then you'll have to check out the, the brake light. Let me go. Oh, here. cool. Is that off the bus? Yeah. Nice. Oh, that is great. Rich, this is fantastic. Oh, this is why I love rats. You could go absolutely berserk or have so much fun with it. Look at that cap. That's actually uh, an S10 uh -huh. cap. Well, the, the spout was S10. Right. So, so everyone was saying about the plastic cap. Yeah. I made a cover for it. All oh, that is the cover I built to go down over and just put ah, two screws in that's it. That's a great idea. That's perfect. How long did it take you to build this girl? I I don't know if I got 200 hours in it or not. I'll tell you. It also helps that you're a welder because there's a lot of work in here. A lot of work. And my oldest boy, he does he helps me with the with the engines. Right? And and doing all the I do all the fabricating, he does engines and electrical. Very good. Very good. And I do all the dreaming. This is one hell of a dream. Uh, some people say it's a nightmare. I was going to say, what kind of drugs were you on when you were dreaming this? Good ones. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I like your heat control. Yep. That way the heat the, isn't running through your heater and, no, and keeps like the heat out of the inside of your car. Right. Since there's no air conditioning. Oh, yes, there is. Yeah, 50-50. 50-50. I love it. Oh, that's great. That cover for the uh, alternator. Yes. That uh, is cool. PA laws, you got to make sure everything's guarded. Oh, really? And so that was a belt there, so I guarded it with this. Gotcha. And then, then you got to make sure you either got to wrap your headers uh -huh. or you got to cover them with shield for PA laws. Oh, okay. Because you can get things inspected, but they got to be inspected as a street rod. Right. And so that, that's what you got to follow. That is great. Jeez, what a cool ride. Rich, this is fantastic. I gotta get the other side because the sun is coming in just right on that side. That is too cool. This is Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com at the, 2000, the June 2018 Cumberland Valley Cruise. For more cool events like this, make sure you check NortheastWheelsEvents.com, SoutheastWheelsEvents.com, and UKWheelsEvents.com.
I'll see you at the shows. Thanks, Rich. Thank you. Thank you.